I just missed catching my City Hall go to City Hall 12 for you guys. I wanted to get you that live moment and record this video talking about new things and strategies and things you should focus on at City Hall 12, but I missed the City Hall actually getting there. It's okay, we can still make the video. What is up my friends, my name is Ek and we're back inside of Rise of Kingdoms today and I am really excited to be progressing through the game. Now is City Hall 12 and uh, just kind of having a really good time getting a great understanding for the game along the way. There's a couple of topics I'm going to be talking about today. First being what unlocks at City Hall 12. Second being is City Hall 12 even a big deal? And third being troop upgrades. Now I put a video out a few, a few days ago and I talked about if you are getting from tier one to tier two, you should be upgrading your tier one troops to tier two troops right away. And I think I'm taking that back right now. I've spoken to a few people since I mentioned that in that video. And a lot of people are saying you should do this. First, you should be taking those tier one troops and upgrading them to tier three, not doing the upgrade for tier two. So now that I have tier two, I should continuously train tier two not upgrade my tier ones into tier twos. Second, they tell me when I do hit tier three, I should take all my tier ones, upgrade them to tier three, and then wait on the tier twos and then just continuously train tier threes. And I was told when I get to tier four, take all the tier two troops and get them to tier four. That's the strategy that some of the uh, more OG veteran players are saying is best for the game. Now, with that being said, I am still going to be training up tier one siege units for my gathering. Now. I just had went out and done a whole bunch of battles against the Guardians today, so that was fun, but this was a moment that I wanted to share with you. So first of all, let's take a look and see what we can actually build. It looks like we're getting another gold mine, which is good, because I'm starting to need this resource and I just don't have a lot, to, a lot of places to grab it from. So although it doesn't fit perfectly right there, because we need all of our resource spots to be symmetrical and you know i like to have some symmetry inside of my bases guys for right now that's where it's going to have to be so my plan here this is one of the second things that i was going to say is i want to really get quickly to uh, let's see what city hall level do i want to get to i want to get quickly to city hall 17 i want to work i want to get to that fourth troop dispatch queue now that's a bit of a grind because to do this, I need to upgrade my wall and my archery range. And to do those, I need to do a whole bunch of other things. A lot of stuff needs to happen. So um, along the way, I actually like to try and keep everything as upgraded as possible. So my base isn't too low level. Oh, look at this, research is done and we can actually do a little bit more. So let's go under here and see what kind of research we're doing. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go with the enhanced axle. This is gonna increase my defense of siege units Although they're really not doing much uh, defending at all, whatever. If someone tries to beat me up, my siege units can give them a little bit more of a hard time. So there we are. And um, I guess we're going to have to go something. Else. I'm trying to think of what I should upgrade here. I got to enter my base first. The helping hands. The alliance center is something important because the more I upgrade this, the more help I'm going to be able to get. So we're going to do that. We're going to ask for help for it as well. And lately, I've been using a lot of speed ups. I've been trying to get things done quickly so I can gain as much power as quickly as possible because I don't want to be too weak. I don't want to be too attackable inside of the game. But there's going to be a point where I have to slow down on my speed up use and actually have to wait a little bit on some of these upgrades. So things will get progressively slower moving forward as I get to higher city hall levels. Good thing that I'm an amazing alliance. I'm in an amazing alliance and they're able to help me out and give me all those helping hands along the way. Now, so we see what the new defense is or what the new structure is, which is simply a gold mine, which is, uh, you know, we were, we were hoping for a little bit more, but really that's all it is. We have two more gold mines that we're going to have to grab. We have one more, um, one more quarry that we got to have. We have one more hospital we have to grab. And I believe the blacksmith also. While we're here, let's get a few scouts out because that's just a good practice. And if you do notice right now, guys, I don't have any troops out. I had a couple of gatherers out there and uh, they must have returned 
at home. So what I think I should do is a little bit more Lohar because if you look at the uh, the calendar right here, we are going through Lohar's trial, which means as, as I attack Barbarians, I get rewards for attacking Barbarians. And if we look at my items, I've attacked Barbarians 289 times because I have 289 bone necklaces. These are gonna give you rewards. Let's use one of them so you can see. As you can see, I got two arrows of resistance, which are hard to come by, I'll tell you. They help me uh, up to upgrade my watchtower, but I need a lot more and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot more too. Plus, we got about 30,000 wood and we got a five minute research speed up. Now, you also can get, of course, some Lohars out of here where you could battle them later after the event. Don't battle them during the event. You want to get as many bone necklaces as you can during the event. And look at this. They keep on helping my gold mine get to higher levels. We will just continue asking for more help. <laughs> my God, guys, there's something I forgot to mention to you. I had to hop back on. And I'm just going to insert this somewhere in the video because this is important. When you upgrade your city hall level, you get these rewards on your main quest and they consist of gems. Look. Check this out. We want to upgrade our Boudicca, right? But when we go to skills, we don't want to use all of our sculptures on her. We want to get Boudicca sculptures. Well, you get them from your main quest. And this is why I wanted to, th that's why I thought it was really important to come back on and mention this to you guys. So we're going to grab the 900 gems and we're going to get all of these other rewards along the way as well because we got through that town hall, that uh, city hall level. What am I thinking? Clash of Clans in the mind. There we go, though. Picking up all of these. Now, will more Boudicca. There we go, 10 more Boudicca sculptures for whatever your primary commander is for your city. So there you go, we're gonna claim those and now we're gonna be waiting upon City Hall 13 where I get more gems and check this out, 100% free to play, 18,251 gems. I haven't spent the dime. It's all gonna go to that Richard wheel, guys. We wanna grab Richard and then we wanna get YSG. That's one month and three months from now. You guys will see it right here. All right, let's, let's get back to the video. Let's go ahead right now and do a little bit of barbarian farming. We can get ma uh, level 10 barbs. So we're gonna attack with my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go straight up with this army right here. That's uh, these are basically my peacekeepers. These are the ones that go after all the barbarians for me. So I'm gonna go out with one Q. Sometimes I'll send a second Q, like that Sun Tzu, although he's not a barb attacker, I'm trying to get him leveled up because I'm trying to build up his tree and make him really strong as my garrison. But right now, I feel like just using one of these, using as little AP, which are those action points, as you notice when I when I drag these guys over to the next set of barbarians by my name, you'll see the green line go down a little bit, minus 38, I think it said, and that's gonna be the amount of potion that I have to move on to the next one. When those run down to zero, I can't attack anymore, unless if I start using more, more AP bonuses, which I could use, but I try and use them sparingly. Another tip though, let me show you another tip. Um, let's wait until this is done. We'll do one more thing of Barbarians. Then I have a tip about how to grab that pretty uh, efficiently. Let's take these guys. We're going to go over there. Now, if you go into my... Or not into my. You're going to probably go into your. If you go into your shop, you're going to see in the top left-hand corner, basic action point recovery. This is amazing. You can grab 30 of these per week, 12,000 food per, and that's going to be able to stock up your action point recovery bonuses and you'll be able to attack more. You'll be able to use those so you're not just sitting and waiting for your troops. Let's actually make these guys camp right there. We're gonna look for more level 10s because the higher level barbarians you attack, the more rewards you get from them. And we could take a look at that actually. Let's take a look at, um, well, we got a little bit of gem right there, which is nice. Let's go over here and you'll see some of the rewards you get from attacking these barbarians. You get things like resources. You get things like your uh, starlight sculptures, tomes of knowledge and speed ups. This is a great way to farm inside of Rise of Kingdoms outside of just going out and gathering because gathering you're going to get the resources. But when you get these barbarians, you're getting resources as well as speed ups, as well as tones of knowledge and sculptures. You're getting a lot of stuff that doesn't go directly into your resource bank up top, which is really nice because you don't look as desirable for people that are trying to attack you. So now everyone's returned back home. We're going to actually heal that up. And it's also time that we go looking for some resources to farm because it's not just all about barbarians. It's also about finding resources around the map. Oh, we're building a uh, build it progress, an alliance woodlot. Let's send some troops over there. I don't want to send Boudicca though. Of course we want to send over Constance. There we go. And why is she, I want her to go over there with, with gathering stuff. Because when she's done, she can get a bunch of these and grab a bunch of resources. 
Let's march her over and she's going to be able to assist in that. And then afterward, she'll bring back 700 and whatever thousand wood back to the back to the city, which is really sweet. Now, also, we're going to try and find resources within our city lines. Remember, when you're gathering inside the city lines, I believe there's a 25 percent bonus on your gather, which is really nice. So we're going to go right here. Uh, actually, you know what we need? We need we need some food. Uh, let's find a nice a nice cornfield that we can grab some from and this is all I do because I try and stay within the lines of my city of my alliance I mean I try to just kind of scoot my way through and look for stuff as I go now this is not the most efficient way you could clearly use the the search and you could go over to corn and you could go look at it from there but I try and like I said stay within the lines now I'm gonna farm this no I'm not someone left that and did not fill and did not take it completely Oh, I don't like when that happens. We'll grab this one. It's only a level two, but at the same time, that's okay. It's what we can grab right now. We don't have the best position in the map right now, but we will gain better pro positioning as we progress through the game. So we are City Hall level 12. A few things that must happen. We're going to have to do the wall, which means we're going to have to do the tavern, I believe. We're also going to have to get the archery range, I believe it was. And to do the archery range, we're probably going to have to do some of the resources. So a lot has to happen to get to City Hall 13. But you know what? Enjoy the journey. Don't rush it along the way because the grind is part of the fun. Let's see some of these resources we grabbed. Oh, we got a we could go look over here, find out what's going on here. Okay, we we've unlocked more of the map. That's pretty cool, of course. But what other resources? Alliance stuff and system, more of those lohar necklaces, plus some speed ups and stuff too, which is really really sweet. And when we come over to my commanders, you'll see, oh, look at this. We can even upgrade them a little bit, and this must have been from my um my smashing of those guardians. Let's go to talents and what we've been building here is trying to make Lohar a beast gatherer. My plan is to completely or almost completely fill out this tree. I'm gonna probably skip Mighty Force and I'm gonna then go over here to Burning Blood and maybe make my way over to Rejuvenate as well. But we're gonna do the same thing with Boudica or very similar because we want her as well to get that super barbarian smashing source. But I think I want to, hmm. I think I want to get her over to rejuvenate before I get her over to march speed. One second. I'm going to go figure out what my plan was. I'll be right back. All right, so the plan was to get to rejuvenate, but I want to get to thoroughbreds first. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a little bit more march speed. Only one talent point to spend, but we do have another one for Sun Tzu, who we're trying to make our beast garrison. One day behind YSG, but for now he's going to be my primary. We're going to go and upgrade things that are going to get that garrison skill even stronger. And when we go look at my city wall right now, it's a... It's a baby wall, right? But we're making it stronger. We have um, we have Sun Tzu leading. Lohar is just back there because he's my strongest right now. But we will have a pretty strong wall very soon. So there's the update, guys. We have made it to City All 12, and we are going to be progressing as quickly as we can. Let's give a little bit of love to the Alliance right now. The Order of Odin being great teammates, guiding me along the way. We did the Guardians today and many more events to come. I want you guys following me on this journey, both right here on YouTube, as well as live streaming my experiences here in Rise of Kingdoms. You can do that over on DLive, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm streaming over on DLive. It's DLive.tv slash Echo Gaming. The link is down below. Come on through, guys. We're out of here for today. Check out this video before you go. And remember, I appreciate you guys. Take it easy. And be good.